Hey guys, I'm just shooting this video to give you a quick overview of the software and what you can expect uh, once you are inside. So here is the main page once we're logged in. Now you've got a couple of options. You've got uh, the campaign management tools here uh, where you can create influencer campaigns. These are basically, think of it as a giant folder that you can save all of the influencers you know, for a certain um, campaign that you wanna run. So you know, you could create a campaign about uh, pugs. And then if we head over to find influencers, so this is the main section of the software, we can go ahead and uh, search for pugs. As you see, it's found a ton of influencers that our system has identified as being the very best uh, influencers that you want to reach out to. So if I wanted to add those to a campaign, I could just go ahead and click this button on the right hand side, save campaign and add that particular influencer to our Pugs campaign. And then you can see they are loaded straight into the campaign. Now from here, um, you typically want to do a bit of research. So we've included a really handy feature for deep diving influencers to really understand uh, the sort of relationship they have with their followers. So if I go ahead and head back to find influencers, let's just search for pugs again. On the right hand side, you want to click the dot 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 and head into uh, the deep dive search. So as you can see, it brings up their latest 12 posts. It shows you things like how many likes each of the posts has gotten, how many comments each of the posts have received. It also shows you the total number of followers that the profile has, how many people they're following, and how many posts have posted in the entire uh, duration of their account. Now, one of the key pieces of information to look at is this little ratio down here. Now, what this does is it shows you the ratio between how many followers the influencer has and how many likes that that particular picture has received. Now, the higher that this ratio percent is, the more engaged the influencer's uh, followers are. So typically if you get something around, you know, the 10% uh, mark, you are looking at a really engaged audience and you will more than likely have a lot of success when it comes to advertising with that influencer. So I hope we've got a couple of other awesome features to save you a ton of time. So if we head over to the email templates, this is an area where you can uh, create, I guess, stock emails that, that you can go back to and uh, edit and personalize specific to the influencer you're looking to contact. But because it's all in the software, it saves you again a ton of time. If you were emailing you know, 20 or 30 influencers and you were having to manually email them, that could take you hours. Whereas doing it inside the software, once the template has been created, you can send that template to any influencer within uh, two or three clicks. So not only is it a huge time saver, but it's a really valuable feature to have when you're looking at automating a lot of the day-to-day -day tasks that you're gonna be um, doing when it comes to managing influencer campaigns. So I hope this gave you a good idea of what the software can do, and I look forward to seeing you inside. Awesome, thank you.